welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we are here in Anaheim at DesignerCon, our favorite convention. Yeah, this is a convention full of art, pop culture art. We, we love art and we're, we're in search of movie art for our house. You know we have art all over our walls and we're always looking for bigger and better. Uh, so come with us on this adventure. The way you got to do conventions is you start on one side of the show floor and you work your way all the way to the other side of the show floor. That way you maximize your time, you get to see everything. You only miss a little, but you know, you, you got to optimize your time when you're on a show floor. So, and then uh, the pins are new this year. And then the These are called depressed monsters and they're definitely a mood for sure. We've all felt like this. Yes. <laughs> We're an apparel company, so I only do the toys once a year as like a fun way of just doing things for a toy convention because I love toys. Uh, yeah, we donated a portion of proceeds to mental health awareness agencies, and then we're going to be in Hot Topic next year, and we're going to be working with them. So that's oh, that's awesome. I think one of the reasons Kitro likes this convention so much is it has so many cute things, so many corgis, so many yeah. monsters. Yeah, I heard a rumor that there's like a whole booth just dedicated to corgis. So we got to find that for sure. I'm not sure if this is the corgi booth, but I mean, come on. Is there a more perfect hat? Oh my gosh. So this is Sean Cheeks Galloway. And he has like this fantastic style and does a lot of pop culture stuff, a lot of like superheroes. I just love the style. Artist Alex Hardy is here. It seems to be a lot bigger this year, a lot more well-established artists. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm excited to explore a little bit more. Midnight Dogs always has some cool pins. They have the, the pin of, they have the Mayor McCheese. You know that that one in the Mick playground that used to be, I, used to, I spent my childhood in that thing. That was so cool. The guy running the shop ended up giving me the pin because he read Slash Bell uh, and got the pin for free. Thank you. My friend Ryan brings up a good point. We used to hang out in the Mayor McCheese hat because we were antisocial and even nobody, back then. Nobody goes in the Mayor McCheese jail and <laughs> You get to hang out in there by yourself, eat your McNuggets, Yeah, and your above hamburger. everybody else. You're yeah. like overlooking. You get to watch them and enjoy that, but not enjoy the human interaction with them. It's the best. It's the best. <laughs> what is wrong with us? <laughs> A lot of things. Uh, it's called Trader Ogie's Tiki Bar, and uh, Trader Ogie is your host. Um, the trivia part is that quite a lot to see, and there's four hidden Mickeys in Trader Ogie's Tiki Room. I'm determined to find at least one hidden Mickey. Okay, this new booth, Ready Sets, is very cool. This is I, I would have died for this as a kid because you used to get action figures, but the big play sets were so expensive. This you basically buy them; they're like cardboard, and they unfold into an epic, uh, you know, play set for these action figures. At Special Ed Toys, they have a bunch of interesting pins and stickers. They have a sticker of a Toys R Us that has been now closed down. It's now a Halloween store. And they also have this really funny E.T. sticker. <laughs> what is even going on here? Uh, seems to be somebody in a dumpster who's tired, thinks social media is drugs, and also fart. Oh, that's awesome! It's Mr. Sparkle. I love that. This place is called Lost Simpson. That's great. For four dollars, you could get this cool shimmery, shimmery overlay for your annual pass to Disneyland. Are you gonna get it? I don't know. I'm tempted. Bear Walker has some custom skate, skate decks that look pretty cool. One of them is the hoverboard from Back to the Future. I don't skate, but it, it, this thing looks cool on the wall. One of the really cute artists here is Pretend Friends. We bought some of these last year at Designer Con. It's a bunch of creators. So you have Walt Disney, you have George Lucas, you have uh, Jim Henson, but they also have like Mary Blair and uh, Mr. Rogers, J.K. Rowling. Hey, wait a second. This looks like Baby Yoda to me. 
It's like you guys knew that they thought they knew you. They took it before. From us, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have this one already, right? At home? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Everything here is just so cute. I want the Harry Potter ones. But like, which one do I get? Because they're both adorable. Hi, look, at, look at Neville's little frog. And you got Crookshanks, and you got Hedwig. You got all the little creatures. They're so cute. Neville and there's also the E.T. over there. At Lulander, they love the Muppets. They have so much Muppet stuff. So good. All of it's so good. It's, it's like one of those things like the Scott Seep Great Showdown prints on my wall. It's a problem because you buy one, you're going to want to buy a set. And if you buy a set, you're going to want to, you know, just cover your wall with these things. Jared Marayama is one of our favorite artists. You might recognize some of his stuff because he does a lot of stuff for Disney parks. He does the Kingdom of Cute. He did those Haunted Mansion blind bags that I got the chair in. Oh my god, I'm nervous. Yeah, what is it gonna be? It feels like the chair. I know. I swear to god, it feels like the chair. Open it. Let's do it. Open it. The last. <laughs> Honey, I'm, I'm sorry. You got the chair. Well, let's look at the chair. The chair could be cool. Could be, uh. Comedically perfect that you got the chair. I'm so was, excited that that's I what came out. I was so, so. <laughs> devastated. There's nothing wrong with the chair. I want to preference that, but that's so funny. I can even tell when you took it out of the fat, I'm like, it's the chair. I can tell it's the chair. <laughs> What's up guys, I'm Peter, Attack Peter. And uh, at this booth, I have all my artwork displayed. These are all uh, prints, linoleum block prints. So what I do is I carve the images out of linoleum like this. And I roll ink on the carving and take paper, press it on, and then you get a print off of the carving like that. So each print is a handmade item, one of a kind, and uh, we're available here or anywhere online at tackpeter.com. Hero Complex Gallery is one of my favorite galleries in Los Angeles. They create a lot of awesome pop culture prints and they work with some of my favorite artists like Kevin Wilson, Eat Meets Girl. Uh, let's see what they have that's new this year. We are a pop culture art gallery in Los Angeles and uh, we have a bunch of our artwork from previous events uh, and some new artwork here. Uh, we have Akira by Vance Kelly. Uh, we have a Pulp Fiction by Colin Schlicht. And we have Jackie Brown by Daniel Castro Maya. We all have problems with art and art fitting on walls. Ryan just told me his solution to this problem. I have a very strict rule. I will not buy a new poster, print, or art piece unless I've uh, framed the one before. And that's it. Although I broke it this week, so, <laughs> you know. It's... If I lived life with that rule, I, I would not own any of the art I have. So they're just sitting there. Why would I buy more things to put on my wall but if I haven't put the rest of my stuff on the wall that I've already bought? That's what a flat file is for. You store them. You want to buy me a flat file? Kid Coolio has these cool custom neon uh, framed art. $1,500 a piece, but that Bart Simpson looks pretty awesome. So. We've now been here for two hours and we've actually only done two aisles, so I'm not even sure if we're going to get to see this whole show floor today. Fingers crossed. These are awesome. We got Mickey, Donald, and Goofy and they look like balloons. At Little Shop of Pins, they have Marty McFly's jackets from Back to the Future Part 2 and 3. Pretty neat. Hi, I'm Dust Frank. I'm a tattoo artist out of Las Vegas, but uh, these are all my passion projects. Uh, since it's space theme here at DesignerCon this year, I decided to do uh, my favorite Space Goonies movie, The Explorers. So I did uh, this poster. Uh, it's uh, my attempt at doing digital that actually looked like a painting as opposed to digital that looked digital. We're here selling repurposed VHS lamps. So what we've done is we've taken old VHS uh, tapes and made them into modern lamps for practical use. So we have our basic tape here that you can get one of two ways, either with a remote control or with a Bluetooth app that you download for free. And then we also do custom work for specific movies. So for example, Back to the Future has two buttons here that control the volume, but you press one once, and it does the flux capacitor. 
Uh, Lion King is sound activated. It has a sunrise and sunset continually going on when you hear sound. So this one's 125 because that one took a lot of programming and a lot of work to do. Our basic tape is probably the most affordable, which is 50 bucks. We found F Foolish Mortal Supply Company. They have a bunch of stuff inspired by Disney's The Haunted Mansion. Just great artwork all around. They have t-shirts, they have bags, they have pins, they have everything. So we just found the booth of You Found Jacob, and you, he has a lot of stuff based on the Disney parks. He has Harry Potter, he has Star Wars. All the stuff is just so awesome and affordable, too. I really love this uh, Disney World print. If it was a Disneyland print, I might even buy it. But it's just so beautiful, and I, I just love the style. It's just great. Buy it. It's not Disneyland, though. Buy it. It's not Disneyland. It's Disney. But my home park is Disneyland. Buy it. You've been to Disney World. I have. Do you recognize that skateboard? I do not. Do you recognize that skateboard? Um, is that one of Biff's friends in Back to the Future 2? I'm so disappointed in you all. That is the skateboard that Marty McFly rode in 1985 in Back to the Future Part 1. See, I told you Candy Corn was evil. At Monster Posse, they have a bunch of uh, cool patches and stickers. I just love the style of this. Some of them are like that. Those are like old sailor tattoos. Catch up. Yeah. Oh my god, I love him. Looks like a gremlin. It is a gremlin. Oh, is it? No, it's oh, a gremlin. It's a gremlin. Uh. <laughs> Look at his little tongue. I love it. At Joey Chu's booth, he has a bunch of prints, all with uh, usually movie monsters in the houses they occupy. I just love, this is another guy, I just love his style. And if these were a little bit smaller, I could buy them, but it's like one of those things, you buy one, you're gonna have to buy them all, and that's a problem. <laughs> I think the reason why I like this Disneyland print so much is it's like Disneyland, but through the lens of like a Mary Blair, like, it's a small world style. It's very unique. Plus, the Matterhorn has a happy smile. And it kind of looks like the Matterhorn macaroon you can get at the Jolly Holiday, which I'm a fan of. Here we are at Mondo, one of the people that started the pop culture movie poster trend. And today they're doing a lot of Jurassic Park stuff. Jurassic Park in a Japanese uh, font and su subtitle script. Uh, they have pins, they have posters. And they're also showing off a lot of their stuff that's coming out in the future of Mondo. We are at the Unruly Industries booth, and this is like a subsect of Sideshow Collectibles. I'd say that this stuff is a little bit more affordable and a little bit more like edgy and co artist collectible-y, if that's even a word, but it's more like street than like the normal Sideshow Collectibles that they do. My personal favorite is, of course, this awesome Wicked with his tongue sticking out. Yeah, these are all custom brick heads, and my favorite, I think, is the Indiana Jones, but I also like the Mario Kart trio there. Geezer decided to make an action figure that was a mashup of Marty McFly and Michael J. Fox's character from Teen Wolf, because, I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? We've been running into so many people here that, have, that watch Ordinary Adventures, as, including some of the artists, it, it, it's just so, I don't know, it's so cool. So thank you to anybody who came up to us at this convention. You're, you're just making our day.
guys liked today's video, like, subscribe, share the video. That would mean so much. Yeah, without you guys, you know, no one sees these videos. So please share it if you like it. And we'll see you on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone.